DeAndra Sanders, Deion Sanders' oldest daughter. She obviously can't get enough of Jackson State. She can't get enough of her time in Jackson and has some more to say about what's taking place on Jackson. Let's talk about it after the bumper. What's going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lightsey Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Now, let me give you let's let's re, we know that the previous regime of Jackson State football was coached by Deion Sanders. We understand the success, we understand everything. It's all documented. We all watched it in real time. We don't need to reflect on that. But with Dion came his family. Obviously, his son Shador was the quarterback. Shiloh was a safety in now as a graduate of JSU, an honorary member of the J5. He called it the J6. All of that stuff. His daughter was on the basketball team. Um, and then there was the two older children. You had Dion Jr., or Bucky, who ran the videography, ran his dad's social media. And then DeAndre, who would show up at games and would throw parties in Jackson. Keep that in mind. She would throw actual events, parties in Jackson. Well, when they decided to transition, move on, everything was all copacetic. DeAndre had a lot to say about JSU. She would. She went on a podcast infamously and said, essentially insinuated and said that there were times where her and her family, essentially it was like my dad was sometimes scared to move around Jackson because of the crime and all the bad stuff, right? Remember I just said she threw parties. Well, she also said they were scared to move around there, which the two and two can't go together. It just doesn't make any sense. You were scared to move around Jackson, but you hosted multiple events in Jackson, including like social events at night in Jackson. Okay, whatever. So she's been out the news. We went in on her way back then when that was happening because it was just ugly, the, the smear campaign that was taking place uh, after they had already moved on. Well, it looks like that campaign just still hasn't stopped. Uh, it, it looks like they just can't stop talking about what's going on in Jackson. As we know, during the Miax Whack Challenge, P. Diddy showed up to the game. He presented Jackson State with their $1 million check, the same pledge that he made to them back during last year's BET Awards. Uh, he's already made his first payment, so we know that that's actually going down. That's a real thing. Boom, bada boom, Diddy's locked that in. Uh, DeAndre, De DeAndre, DeAndre, she had something to say about that. So let's go ahead and show you. It. So this comes from her Instagram. On her Instagram, she reposted, I want to say, was the, uh, the Shade Room post about Diddy. Uh, given that, you know, donating that $1 million to JSU. And this is what she had to say. This is a screenshot that was posted on our friend Brandy. Brandy over on X on Twitter. Brandy's account. And this is what DeAndra had to say. Obviously, this is the Shade Room's post about Diddy giving the $1 million to both Jackson State and Earn Your Leisure. And then DeAndra said, Jackson, y'all still mad at my dad? Really, DeAndra? Really? Really, DeAndra, your dad is about to play his first game as the head coach of the Colorado Buffaloes. And instead of being in preparation for that, that game, which is going to be nationally broadcast, it's on Big Noon Kickoff, on Fox Sports, all of that stuff. Your brain, your mind, what you got going on is thinking about the good folks down in Jackson. Now, I get it. I get it. It, the, the love and affection and the attention and what you can do out in Boulder is totally different than what you could do when you were in Jackson. See, there's no nightclub hotspots in Boulder. <laughs> there's nowhere for you to go and be an influencer and throw parties in Boulder like there were in Jackson. I get it. I understand. And so it might be a little bit of that revenue that you're missing out on for the good folks in Jackson who are going to support any and everything that Prime did. And any and everything that had the Sanders name attached to it. You know, those same people that you said you were scared to be around at night, even though you were throwing those events. I get it. I understand. It's a little different there than it was here. Me and Jackson with the with your people, with the good folks. I get it. I understand. Yeah, there's more money. Yeah, there's more glitz and glam. Yeah, there's more attention and spotlight. 
But sometimes that ain't what it's all about. <laughs> sometimes it's just about missing being around good folks, good people, being in the South, being in the warm weather. You know, and and it seems like DeAndra might might just miss a lot of those things. Because why is it that you're focused on Jackson? Nobody ever denied that the donation from Diddy came from the fact that your father was the head coach of Jackson. Nobody was ever really mad at your father just simply for leaving. That might have been a troll or whatever, but nobody was mad at him. Nobody expected him to be there for 10 years. It We don't have to rehash this. And, it, and we don't have to rehash because we're long gone. TC's played his first game. But at the same time, nobody continues to bring your father up and bring up Jackson besides you guys. Like you guys on that side are the ones who continue to bring Jackson up. Jackson State has moved on. They won their first game of their new era. They won it in blowout fashion on a nationally televised game that was seen by millions of people, whether it's from the highlights or actually tuned in on ABC 730 Week Zero Miak Swag Challenge. But somehow, someway, you still got Jackson on your mind. Who's the one that's still mad? <laughs> is it the people that actually keep bringing one side up? Or is it the people that's moved on? Who actually is the one that's still mad? Now, I get it. There, there would be absolutely positively no. We've talked about DeAndre Sanders twice on this channel. Both times, it was for her saying something crazy, right? Both times, it's because she has put herself into that position. Hell, one of the times got me blocked from De by Deion Sanders for talking about her. <laughs> so, like, literally, like, that's a fact. That is not a joke. That is a fact. And what I don't understand is, and I get it, you know, all the other Sanders kids kind of have a role with their father. So they have a certain level of notoriety and fame because of their role that they play as far as, you know, just in the public sphere. You got Shadur, who is QB1, who may be a first round pick one day. He's a really good college quarterback who I think is a pro. You've got Shiloh, who's just has a crazy good personality. The dude's hilarious. He's super talented, play football, play instruments, makes beats. He's talented and he plays football. So that gives him a certain level of notoriety and fame. You've got Deion Jr., who wasn't as good at football as his brothers, but is, has found his lane with this videography. Well Off Media is doing very well. Uh, people across the country know who Deion Sanders Jr. is because of the Well Off Media brand. You have the youngest daughter who is who has a good personality, it seems like, and is a college basketball player, once at Jackson State, now at Colorado. So they all have, like, their own lane. And then there's DeAndre, who, you know, is probably most famous besides being the daughter of Deion Sanders, the oldest child of Deion Sanders, for dating Boosie one, at one point. Like, she dated Lil Boosie at one point, way back in the day. It's probably what she's most known for. Boosie still gets asked about it sometimes. But other than that, don't really have an identity outside of being Deion Sanders' daughter and at one point dating Labusi. And so what gets her in the spotlight? She knows one thing that'll get her in the spotlight and it'll get her talked about on different platforms, whether it's HBCU Game Day, me or whoever. Let's bring up Jackson State. <laughs> Let's bring up good old JSU, and that'll get me in the, you know, 28, 24-hour, 48-hour news cycle, and then I'll go back into some form of irrelevancy. It's unfortunate that it's come down to that. DeAndra, got to be better than that, man. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. Like, let's – you got a game to celebrate. You got a, you got a game, a season to get ready for, a game to celebrate where your two brothers will be playing in on national TV on Big Noon Kickoff on Fox Sports. Let's get ready for that. Don't worry about what Diddy's doing for Jackson State. Like, nobody, like, it's because of this where the so-called hate comes from for your father. For stuff like this, when you and Luke and others were doing a smear campaign on not just Jackson State, but on all black colleges across the country. You guys are better than that, man. You, you, I would hope that you are better than that. So let's, let's move on. Let's get ready for TCU and then Nebraska. And let the good folks at Jackson do what they do. Leave them alone. That's all I have.
Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. DeAndre Sanders had something else to say about Jackson, and it's always funny to hear what she has to say and just debunk it and kind of, you know, go at it a little bit. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload all the time. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty7. That is on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty7. See you guys next time. Peace.